This is Gene Key, KDDD, Texas News. The Austin American Statesman reports an Austin high school teacher has been charged after she was accused of giving a morning after birth control pill to a student. Tracy Lee Steinberg is charged with delivering a dangerous drug. Court records show the 32-year-old physical education teacher at Johnson High School gave the pill to a 16-year-old student last month after seeing the girl crying in class. The affidavit states the girl expressed fear of pregnancy after having unprotected sex. After experiencing unpleasant side effects, the girl told her mother, who reported to school police. Steinberg was placed on administrative leave, then resigned. Steinberg is free on $15,000 bond. If convicted, she could be sentenced to up to two years in state jail. The Associated Press reports from the Capitol. Texas Comptroller Susan Combs says state sales tax revenue for January was up almost 10% over the last year. Combs reported 22 consecutive months of increased revenue. Wednesday's sales tax report showed revenue for January at $2 billion, and Combs says tax revenues continue to grow in all major categories. The January increase was led by the oil and natural gas sectors, Restaurants and service sectors also showed increases. The state will distribute about $709 million to local governments. The Associated Press reports a tip from an 8-year-old boy has helped deputies recover a plane reported stolen from an East Texas airport. The Cessna 182 turned up missing January the 28th from a hangar at Athens Municipal Airport. Nacogdoches County Sheriff Thomas Cress says online stories about the theft, including the plane's U.S. registration or N number. Cress says the boy Monday afternoon noticed a plane had landed on a nearby private airstrip. The child went to a computer, verified the tail's N number was the same as the stolen aircraft, then he told his father. Deputies were notified and arrested Terry Lynn Boozer near the airstrip as he allegedly tried to run. He's held without bond on theft and evading arrest charges. Boozer will be transferred to Henderson County, where the plane was reported stolen. If you'd like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDDD, Texas News. 